I'm serving you a hipster Satanist. What's this? What's this symbol? It's the uh, symbol of it's the sigil of Leviathan. 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 Anton the Slay, honey. Smurfs were like they were like sexually mature, I assume. They never covered the reproductive. Well, no, I don't Smurfs. expect that they would. Because they've got one female, which I assume that that's like that's like a feature of all Smurf colonies. Mm -hmm. But they have one female who serves as the as the sort of like the the bucket. <laughs> So to speak, the biological receptacle, the town bike, in a sense, but what not... was she called? Smurfette. She was just called Smurfette. Yeah, it was bullshit. It was just like, oh, we should have a girl one. It's weird because it's like that's a personality of Smurf. Yeah, an entire gender. It's Se bullshit. Sexism happened. <laughs> what I don't like is that Gargamel. He was just this one guy who was obsessed with killing the Smurfs. I don't think that the Smurfs ever existed. I think the Smurfs were just a fever dream. Of, a, of Gargamel, I think he was mentally ill. That's why he lived on his own with a cat. Yeah, I Everyone think. Everyone was just like, the entire we're show. sick of you talking about these little <laughs> fake blue beings you're on about. Piss off, go and live on your own. I think the entire show of the Smurfs was a comment on mental illness. I think the Smurfs were imaginary. I think Gargamel was a, you know. A, a paranoid person. schizophrenic. He was a paranoid <laughs> <laughs> was he actually trying to kill the Smurfs? Didn't he try to capture them? Or I something? have no idea what he meant to do with them. I assume it was sexual. I'm going to shove four of you up my bum. <laughs> what about the Wombles? The Wombles? Or the, the little moon fuckers? What are they called? <laughs> the, the Clangers. <laughs> moon fuckers? They're not. <laughs> <laughs> On the moon, they'd have like little lids going. Mm -hmm. British kids' TV was in the like late 80s and early 90s, was just. Creepy. Terrifying. Yeah, it was terrifying. That's really, really strange. The ideas that adults have come up with to entertain children have been the worst ideas ever, have been exactly the opposite. One of my earliest memories is of us being in an assembly in school, and this guy came in in a massive Postman Pat outfit. Do you not remember that? A vague, a vague record. And I immediately started crying. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Like that. It was like seven foot. Postman Pat the just ran over his cat. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blobby, that's another freak, freak of nature. Mr. Blobby was fun. Uh, he was fun as long as he was not in the same room as me. I can imagine that explaining Mr. Blobby to anyone who isn't British. Imagine a giant pink tumor. Yeah, a big, a big pink testicle. Slash tumor. With huge, <laughs> beautifully mascaraed eyes. Huge, crazy eyes, a big, massive, weird smile. Bizarre grin. He had yellow dots all over him. Best part was, his, like, call yeah. was, Mr. Blobby! <laughs> it wasn't, Mr. Blobby! Or, or, Mr. Blobby! It or, was, Mr. Blobby! And he would freak the fuck out. And he would go mental, he would run at people, and he would, like, jump on them. And it was the most terrifying thing in the world for a five-year-old little <laughs> Michael Truman. <laughs> Teletubbies. They're marginally better. What They've gotten better. I don't better. think Teletubbies were that bad. They were a bit spacey. They were a bit weird. They used to eat fucking waffles and pink custard. Yeah, someone else. Has it gotten better? Have, have children's TV shows gotten less terrifying? I don't know. I, am, I look at the main sort of main contender and I see Peppa Pig, which just seems like a delight, yeah. frankly. But the further you back you go, the more <laughs> terrifying they become. Like before it was TV shows, it was like little dolls. It was like little mannequins and shit. Oh you yeah. Know, had these little fucking like, like, like what they call like porcelain dolls with like weirdly sh like painted faces going, hey, I love you, take care of me. <laughs> and she was like, oh. Everything about the past was terrifying. <laughs>